Meanwhile, you've got Fatima Cortez of Great Oak, arguably one of the fastest, most improved athletes over this last year. She was your Southern Section Division I champion this past cross-country season. But right there to the front, that is the ninth grader, Mia Barnett from Village Christian. She was the Division V champion this past cross-country season. So we'll see how that talent translates over to the track. Misty Diaz of Norwalk, a Division II CIF finalist from a year ago, also in the mix. Ariana Griffiths, 10th grader of Great Oak, here along with Cortez, and a whole crew there with another state title this past cross-country season. And that is Brown in the white top, taking the lead. She's also a very well-accomplished pole holder. Vanessa Gracian of Covina High School in second place. So coming through, very brisk, 72, 73 seconds there for the first 400. Ian Brown, part of that great Lacosta Canyon program. She is a three-time state meet podium. Finalist there for the last cross country season again, fifth place last year at the state champions as a junior. Sydney Wayne and Tori Gaetan, both representing Fremont and Great Oak, right there in that mix as well. So, a very talented glimpse of what we're going to see here in the outdoor season for this 2018 campaign. Taking it to the field right now, challenging everybody with 800 meters to go. She's got 215, 800 meter speed. Gracian, Gaetan, Cortez, Griffiths, Great Oak running three, four, five. Check that, two, four, five. And check that again, two, three, five. Making their moves. Barnett's a freshman in the all red. Oh, trying to hang on there. But Brown throwing down the gauntlet, challenging all all comers here early in the season. Right now her fitness levels already indicate she is under five minutes for the full 1600 meters and with 600 meters to go. The Great Oak crew trying to come out and get her, try to chip into that lead that Brown continues to grow on here with about four or 500 meters to go. And that's Cortez. Her brother, the state champion in the 800 and 1600 meters two years ago, but Fatima has definitely carved out her own resume this last fall and looking to do a lot of damage. Cortez has only got a PR of 514. She's already in faster fitness shape than that right now. One lap to go. Brown, Cortez, now Barnett, the freshman, making a great move here with 400 meters to go. And Cortez, again, she is going to shatter every personal best that she set last year. 300 meters ago with Brown and Cortez. Both of them having brothers with very good, serious state meet resume. Brown and Cortez makes a move with 200 meters ago. Can Brown answer? Barnett. In third place, trying to hold on. Now that is Griffiths that has moved into fourth place from Great Oak. Gracian of Covina into fifth place. Right now, Fatima Cortez, just like we saw the past cross country season, laying it down here, 600 meters, and not with the cut. Brown doing a little piece of charge. Cortez now sneaking it all up from the big leagues. 426, 427. Oh my, it's 4.30. Easily eclipsing the old state record. Diaz coming up big there for Norwalk for second place. Brown for third, Barnett for fourth, Guyton for fifth, Griffith for sixth. A very talented field here, folks. We're going to have a great 2018 outdoor season, as you just saw right there. 430.55, that is the old, that sets the old meat record. 
Misty Diaz, great last lap there, 436.65, just off the old meet record. McKenna Brown, 437.41. Mia Barnett, 438.93. Arguably, those four times all equate to sub five minute times there for the 1600 meters. Guyton, 